Hello. This video demonstrates the operation of a circa 90 plus year old union switch and signal company semaphore signal. This signal was restored in about a year and a half and now stands proudly in my backyard. Next to the signal we have a small code line pole to represent how the signal was powered and how communications came into the signal. Let's take a look at the signal box itself. The signal box was in pretty bad shape when I received it. As you can see, rust had corroded the lower electrical box to the point where the entire lower sheet still had to be removed and a new one had to be made. When taking apart the lower signal box, not only did we find a lot of rust, but we found the four supporting rods that held the box together badly corroded. So four new rods were installed. The entire box was sandblasted and cleaned. The upper box is where the motor mechanism is that operates the signal. This part is all original. The lower box has all new sheet steel and new rivets. Here we are firing the rivets, putting them in the box. The upper signal box is where the motor is stored. Made by the US and S Union Switch and Signal Company in Swissvale, Pennsylvania. As you open the door, you find the original all intact motor. The motor still had the original writing on it. That was done by the railroad. The motor also still had its original glass cup that protected the brushes. We have installed a lighting in the box. Originally there was no lighting inside of the box. The lower box is where all the electrical is stored. We have kept intact the original electrical panel and are utilizing it underneath the original electrical panel is the modern day electrical panel with a main power switch and power light a remote control that has that can be removed and a long extension cord on it so you can stand outside the box and control the signal home and distant the new transformer and even a voltmeter there that reads how many volts is going to the signal we control the signal today with two modern day GE electrical timers that are Bluetooth to the phone. By taking your iPhone and using a special app to turn on the signal, the timer turns on, which turns on the upper signal. And the same with the lower spectacle. The 
spectacles were in sad shape. They were cleaned and powder coated black, not painted, to last much longer. Let's see a demonstration. Power turns on and the upper spectacle is lowered. The same happens for the lower spectacle. As the arm raises, the spectacle lowers. When the train were to pass by this signal, the signal would go from red over yellow. The signal is five feet shorter than the original, but still at an impressive height. All new original glass has been found and put into the spectacle units. The lantern housing was beautifully restored and has all original parts. These knobs here adjust the light bulb to the mirror so you can get a very sharp focal pointed light. This lever here releases the lens and allows the mirror to rotate out to reveal the light bulb so that the light bulb could be changed if burned out. This signal came from the Southern Pacific Siskiyou line in Riddle, Oregon, where it stood from about 1925 till 2003. 